Hello and welcome to this build series where I'll be making the ultimate French hot hatchback with this and this. Between two of them I'll make something like these. Is it on the screen? I don't know. Hopefully with these two cars I can make a high horsepower four-wheel drive French hatchback that will look loosely like a modern day WRC car. Power wise I want the car to be somewhere near um, what a modern day WRC car is which I believe is two, sorry, 380 horsepower. Visually I don't want it to look like a dimmer or the original 206 WRC. I know it's a classic look um, but I want it to be a one off and I want it to sort of be a more updated version. Um, so say Peugeot came back into the WRC uh, championship today what would their car look like roughly. Um, so a lot of the inspiration from the um, R5 Fiesta, the Hyundai, the Citroen C3. So this is where it gets a bit more complicated. The main idea of this build is to combine a Subaru shell with a Peugeot shell. So essentially we'll be taking the Subaru Impreza shell, uh, shoving it back to a bare shell um, and then planting the Peugeot 206 body on top of the main floor pan and chassis of the Subaru. Now the idea is to, in order to have all the factory um, bolting points for the subframes etc, is to keep all of the geometry, the floor pan, the same on the Subaru. However, I need to shorten the wheelbase by 80 millimeters and that is going to be the tricky part of the build. The second hardest part is going to be getting the strength in the car once I cut essentially two cars to pieces. So the Subaru shell is going to be shortened by 80 millimeters and that will be step cut in the floor pan of the chassis which we'll go on to in further episodes but the whole thing will be tied together by a uh, multi-point roll gauge, which will be uh, roughly 40 mil T45, so it's lightweight, so I can use quite a lot of uh, tubing and it can run in the chassis rails, etc., to tie everything together. And the main thing is, uh, or the second most difficult part of this build, definitely will be knowing where to merge the line between Subaru and Peugeot. So the big bonus of keeping the Subaru chassis standard is the big variety of parts that are available for um, for Subaru rally cars. Um, they've been around for a long time. I mean, 20 years worth of development is 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 ideal for me because it being a budget build, I can actually just buy secondhand or, or non completely custom parts um, that don't have to be made up at a large expense. So it'd be sacrilege to cut a Subaru press STI apart, plus uh, the cost is a lot more, but that's the reason why I went for a WRX. So after a comprehensive pitch from the seller, I bought the Impreza after watching a WhatsApp video. Thank <laughs> you. 
smoky from the exhaust. This particular car didn't have a motor that was running 100%, it was smoking. Um, all I did was when I got the vehicle delivered was I just drove it down the road to make sure um, the running gear was okay, the suspension felt alright in case I want to initially set up the car on the um, original gear. So that, that was the main thing is to make sure there was no underlying issues. Straight off the bat, I mean there could be some obviously when I strip all the parts down but um, yeah initially it looked good. So while filming this project, I aim to show you the more interesting parts. There will be parts I'll skip over, um, things will be shortened, but the main intention is to give you an insight into what, um, what goes into a build like this, a one-off car, the amount of time um, and thought that goes into it. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. In episode two and three, I'll be stripping down the Super Impressor to a bare shell. Um, so it's mostly going to be a time-lapse video of me taking the car apart in episode 4 and possibly 5. I hope to do it in one video, so episode 4 um, I'm going to strip down the Peugeot 206 and cut the shell off um, and then once that's done then I'll have two bare shells to then figure out how to put together. If you like the video, like and subscribe, there will be plenty more videos uh, to come. And I'll see you soon.